Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to episodes 550, 551, 552 and 553 of One Piece. Some great episodes again. So much shocking stuff is happening now. These episodes were so intense. The most intense episodes so far for this arc because it is getting more to the climax of this arc. Um, so... Wow, okay, so this is a quadruple reaction. So there are two mega links and two media media file links in the um, redirects description. Um, okay, where do I begin? Okay, so the first episode, um, so Hody, he has successfully invaded Fishman Island um, by um, actually holding hostage, holding King Neptune as a hostage because he plans to execute um, King Neptune by chopping his head off within three two to three hours um so time was running out meanwhile uh zara usop and brooke are still they were still imprisoned um so brooke he he, he i mean in the previous episodes he was searching for papag's help and they managed to get out um, so that was good <clears throat> but we didn't actually see those events um we, we just saw that luffy and jinbei they were going to have another fight um but it turns out that they actually worked together and came up with a plan so oh man that ending when luffy came out of megalo and put and kicked the shit out of hody Wow, I mean, I knew someone had to step in. So someone would come in last minute when Hody was about to chop off King Neptune's head. My, my, I say, this was like these were some really disturbing episodes as well because not only like was it the whole like execution thing that was like, you know, like and everyone just like laughing. <clears throat> I mean, like his crewmates were really anticipating for king neptune's execution and it, it, that thing it was just really disturbing to see that um not just that but the princes the fukuboshi and the, the other two princes they were trying to uh, rescue their father but they themselves got became hostages they did actually do well against the seabees so they are strong they are very strong but just not strong enough um so in ep so at the end of episode 550 i should say this more in order but it's just wh wherever i can remember um so episode 550 hody took so 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 many pills even though his body was still in pain, but he's using the pills to dull the pain that he got, the, the wound that he got from Zoro. So Zoro slashed him. Um, Zoro gave, gave him a large wound. Um, so Hody is using a lot, of, a lot of pills to get a lot of strength, to get a lot of power, and um, to also dull the, dull the pain. Um, so unfortunately i mean for him it, he, he he became the evil santa claus he had white hair after he took so many pills and he became so much stronger so 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 much stronger like nothing before like before he was able to break buildings after eating um, steroid pills but this time it got worse because his hair turned white and he he grew really really big muscles and he, he just grew in size um he just became really uncontrollable in that state as well um i mean he's uncontrollable as a person anyway because he's so driven by hate that he just he doesn't see reason um so yeah hody is just he's so like yeah, he's just so driven by hate. It's ridiculous how evil he can be. Like, oh my days, man. This guy is so evil. And then Van Adeken is also another scumbag. Um, So this guy with his creepiness, like he was crying that Shirahoshi turned him down. And now he wants to kill Shirahoshi. And now he wants to destroy the island by using this ship called Noah. And Noah is a very 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 big ship that he's planning to use to destroy the island 
So apparently Madame Shiali's uh, prediction is actually going to come true because Luffy is going to be the one to destroy the island. Like seeing the people so desperate for Luffy to come just goes to show that Hody is such a bad person that they would rather the island get destroyed now than Hody to create his own Fishman Island and you know create bad history with it um by having by com by making the humans completely inferior to the fishmen like he's just like 10 times worse compared to Arlong and Arlong was bad he was bad but like Hody's just on a whole other level of evilness seriously um jeez okay so so when so Hody revealed he spilled some tea and it was it was quite devastating to hear about this so Hody actually told the whole island that he was the one who killed Queen Otohime so that shocked everyone but what was sh really shocking as well was that Shirohoshi said that she already knew that it was Hody who killed Otohime and not a human so what happened was that Hody actually bribed a human to do him a favour so the human uh, he he actually so the favour was to actually set fire to the signatures that Queen Otohime was collecting from the fishmen um, so that's why the box was set on fire in the flashback so everyone so because Hody was the one that found the human and said like actually I'm not going to give you the rest of the money I'm going to shoot you now fuck you like so basically like he's tricked the human into thinking that he's going to give him a lot of money so the deal was that he thought Hody was going to give him a lot of money um, but it turns out that he gave him some money but Hody really tricked him and shot him and then made everyone think that Hody actually caught the real villain, the actual culprit. So everyone everyone thought that the culprit was a human, was that that human that was asking for money from Hody. Um so because he was he he was the one with the sniper. So that whole setup tricked everyone. And it actually made everyone hate the humans even more. So uh, Otohime's plan, Otohime's dream, never came to fruition. Um, if people had known it was Hody, then Otohime's plan might have had a chance to come to fruition. So that's why I was like, why didn't you tell anyone that you knew that Hody was the one that killed your mother? But then Shirohoshi was like, I only wanted to keep um, the promise with my mother that um, actually uh, Queen Otohime would never want anyone to hate on Hody, um, hate on anyone who killed her basically. So that's why she kept the promise. That's why she never told anyone. So she basically found out from Megalo because Megalo was the, was the actual person that saw Hody kill Otohime. And so she had to bear with that truth from everyone. She had to keep it a secret from everyone. And it must have been extremely hard to do that. To know the actual truth. And then everyone believing that it was actually human. When it wasn't. It was Hody who killed Otohime. Um, so to be honest I don't. I'm a bit. I don't know how I feel about that because because of what she did Hody was able to create this plan of like technically speaking <clears throat> I'm not saying I blame her I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying that because of what she did it, it kind of it helped Hody create this whole plan <clears throat> of how to successfully invade Fishman Island by gathering a lot of help um, and not anyone suspecting him um, whilst he was carrying out those really evil plans um, 
and you know it, it actually helped Otime's plan not come to fruition so I'm like okay you want to keep your mother's promise I get that but I can never forgive if I was sure I just I won't be able to forgive someone who killed my own parents that's a really hard position to be in to like be told that you shouldn't be angry but like you know especially if you were really close to your parents like I don't know like what do you guys think about that um anyway that that was really nice how um just before uh uh Hody was about to kill King Neptune by chopping his head off Luffy came in kicked him because Shirahoshi finally cried out that Luffy should help and that was when Luffy was like okay I have to step in now so he was hiding inside Megalo this whole time when he could have like come out at any time so I was just like wow this, you could have stepped in earlier before the princess got caught and royal family and Jinbei got himself tied up but I guess that was part part of the plan so Jinbei made the plan that Luffy should be inside of Megalo and only come out when absolutely necessary um, so I guess that's the condition that they met with each other um, well it worked um, and hopefully they managed to defeat Hody but Hody is extremely strong like even like one little Uzuboshi, Uzumushi I don't know what it's called but it's the little water droplets he would throw damn he would go straight through the buildings and he would destroy buildings like that was just crazy and his henchmen are extremely strong as well like it's just wow man so yeah that's all i have to say uh what did you think of these episodes let me know and stay tuned for more